It's Thursday, August 21st, 2008. Time for another Small Talk Daily with James Robertson of Syncom Systems. This morning I'd like to go through the simple couch TV interface that I built in Syncom Small Talk last night while I was watching TV. Not because couch TV is necessarily ready, it's only at 0.8, but because it's an interesting and nice little example of how easy it is to build HTTP-based RESTful interfaces in Smalltalk to other things that have such interfaces. And that kind of API work is proliferating. So if you can have that kind of API, it's really nice to build it. So here's CouchDB, it's running. Let me go ahead and open up a browser just to show you that it's here. So if we go here and hit the local interface, it's running, you'll notice there's nothing in it. Let's put that away. Now moving this aside, we'll open up a browser, or we'll open up a store connection. So I haven't loaded it yet. And we'll go to Couch, let's go ahead and move this over. And there's the thing I built last night, so let's go ahead and load that. And I will pause this while it loads because it's going to bring itself in and a bunch of prerequisites, so let's just let that go ahead. Okay, so that's all in now. Let's go ahead and close this, and I will open up a little workspace that I created to do testing last night. So I'll again go to couch something or other, couchdb.ws. And here you can see that hitting this is as simple as using the HTTP client straight. So let's just go ahead and hit the same API that I hit from the browser. And you notice it comes back and gives me nothing, which is what I expect. But I've gone ahead and done something nice. I can create this kind of interface to it instead. So I have this expression, which gives me back an array. And the reason it gives me back an empty array instead of that little string is because CouchDB talks JSON on the way out. So I go ahead and just parse that JSON into an object, which in this case is nothing. So let's go ahead and do something more interesting. Let's create a database called MyDB. I'll do a print it so that we can see whether it's true or false coming back. And it said yes. Now let's go ahead and get databases and see what comes back. We'll do an inspect. And sure enough, now we get an array of one with that. Just to show you that there's something real, let's do two things. I'll get some database information here. And that'll show getting a more complex object back from the JSON interface, and there it is. And then, just to show you again that I have nothing at my sleeve, we'll go here, hit this API again, and there's my database. I can select it, and I get that there's not much in it, but I'm getting the same information here that I'm getting down here. Now, you might ask, okay, I'm running expressions here. That's not terribly exciting. Let's open up a browser and take a look at what I've got. So let's go over here, scroll down to CouchDB, and this is very basic. I've got a settings object that tells me where to find the database, and I default to those places. And I've got my interface object that actually does the querying, and then I've got that database object for the one API I've got that returns an object. So here in interface, let's go to API, and here are the four APIs I support right now. Here's the get databases, which just does an execute get on this API, and looks to see what I've got back, and if I've got anything, processes it. And if I look at process, database results, you see that all that is, is executing the JSON reader on the result stream. So that's how I get back the array of whatever it is. And also, that's how I get back the dictionary of results, which I then turn into an object. So this is all there really is, to interfacing to something that has a RESTful API. Put together the gets, puts, deletes, and posts that are necessary to talk to that object send them, and then interpret them on the way back. Not very complex, but it's just as easy in Smalltalk as it is in anything else. And you can see here, this was an hour or so's worth of work, and not even really an hour. I was watching Eureka while I did this. So that's really all there is to doing this kind of thing. I'm going to expand the CouchDB interface to do real things so that I can put objects in and take objects out over the next few days and weeks as I have time. And if anybody else is interested, just go ahead and load it up from the public store repository and pitch on in. Thanks. That's pretty much it for now.